Hello children, next to isotopes, very very important. The atoms of the same element having the same atomic number, gen, but different mass number are called the isotopes. If you take any, an atom, same element, the element is same, the atomic number is same, but the mass number is different, then we call it as the isotopes. The atoms of isotopes have the same number of protons, means atomic number means the protons, z, but different number of neutrons, a minus z. Because of the number of the protons, number of the electrons is same, but here the neutrons is different. Then only the, the mass number is different. In their nucleus, since they have the same number of electrons outside the nucleus, so their chemical properties are also same. Because of the chemical properties will be depends upon the electrons, so, so that there is no change in the chemical properties because of the electrons is same. So here the proton number is same, but change in the neutron number, then the same element we call it as the isotopes. In nature, different isotopes of an element occur in different proportion. Different, different the proportion, different isotopes will be occur. But out of that, one is the most abundant. In most of the cases, the relative abundance of the isotope is very high as compared to the others. Compared to other, the one is the most abundant. We will discuss with the example. Let us take a hydrogen. Hydrogen has three isotopes. Namely, protium, H11, next to our ordinary hydrogen, which is most abundant. It is called as a ordinary hydrogen means hydrogen 11. It is the most abundant in the nation. Next to second one, isotope is deuterium, H12. Here our heavy hydrogen, it is called as a heavy hydrogen. And tritium, H13. Each isotope in its nucleus has one proton. Observe here, here also, next to here also, here also atomic number same. Means each isotope in its nucleus has one proton, z equals to 1. But protium H11 has no neutron because of the one proton. Next again, the, here also one proton. The mass number is nothing but the sum of the proton and the neutron. Here one proton, so that the neutron is 0. In that protein. Next to deuterium, H12 has one neutron and one proton in that deuterium. And tritium, H13 has two neutrons. So there is one electron outside the nucleus in the atom of each isotope. Protium, deuterium, and tritium all having the same atomic number, different in mass number. In the case of the protium, one proton next to no neutron. In the case of the deuterium, one proton, one neutron. In the tritium, one proton, two neutrons. So that in all three cases, one electron is revolving around the nucleus, but the neutron number is different. In the case of the protium, no neutron. In the deuterium, one neutron. Next to the tritium, neutrons. So, outside, there is one electron outside the nucleus in the atom of each isotope. You can see the diagram carefully. The arrangement of the protons, neutrons and electrons in the isotope of hydrogen. Next example is carbon. Carbon also has three isotopes. Carbon, atomic number is 6. Next to mass number 12. C612, C630 and C614, these three types of isotopes. Because here the atomic number is same, mass number is different, 12, 13 and 14. Out of which C612 is the most abundant. Out of these three, C612 is the most abundant. Each isotope in its nucleus has six protons. Means atomic number is same, means the number of the protons. Z equals to 6 in all three cases. The isotope of C612 has 6 neutrons. The isotope C613 has 7 neutrons. And the isotope C614 has 8 neutrons. Inside the nucleus, the number of electrons outside the nucleus in the atom of each isotope is 6. So, 6 electrons is revolving around the nucleus. In the case of the C612, the number of the protons is 6 
and again the neutrons also six here. Here the C six protons, neutrons six seven. Next again the here the C six fourteen. So here the protons is six and neutrons is eight and also six because of the protons number same amount of the electrons present in the atom. Six electrons are revolving in a specified orbit around the carbon nuclear atom inside the nucleus. It is central part. Electrons, six electrons is revolving around the nucleus. Third example is chlorine has two isotopes: chlorine seventeen thirty five and chlorine seventeen thirty seven. Their relative abundance in the nature is in the ratio of three to one. The ratio of abundance in the nature is this is three is to one. Each isotope in nucleus has seven protons because of the atomic number is same. The isotope chlorine seventeen thirty five has eighteen neutrons. How how will we get the eighteen neutrons? Means it is a mass number. Mass number subtract the entire atomic number or proton number. So we will get the neutron number thirty five. Minus seventeen is eighteen neutrons. Why chlorine seventeen thirty seven? Thirty seven minus seventeen how many? How much? Twenty has two empty neutrons inside the nucleus. The number of electrons already know the same number of the protons outside the nucleus in the atom of each isotope is seventeen because of the atomic number is seventeen. So that the same number of the electrons present in the chlorine atom. These isotopes, both isotopes have the same seventeen number of electrons. They are arranged in the regular pattern. First orbit is a two electrons. Next to second is a eight. Next again the eighteen. In that manner, based on the number of the electrons will be arranged. You can see the diagram. The arrangement of the electrons and protons and neutrons present in the two types of chlorine isotopes. Next to note, it is very very important. Tin. S N. It is a surname. It is a Latin name. Has the largest number of ten isotopes. Tin having the ten different type of isotopes in the nature, it, which is the largest isotopes. The isotopes are of two kinds. Second point: the isotopes are two kinds. One is a stable isotopes, which have the number of neutrons nearly equal to the number of Protons in their nucleus. The number of the protons equals to the number of the neutrons. Then we call it as a stable isotopes. Stable isotopes means which have the same number of the neutrons, which is nearly equal to the number of the protons in their nucleus. Next and second type, very very important, unstable isotopes or radioactive isotopes. Second one is called as Unstable isotopes are radioactive isotopes, which means which have the number of neutrons much more than the number of the protons. Compared to protons, the number of the uh, neutrons are more. In that case, such type of isotopes we call it as unstable isotopes or radioactive isotopes. They undergo radioactive decay. These are undergo the radioactive decay and are of great. With the help of decaying of the entire radioactive isotopes, which are helpful for medical field as well as industrial, we will understand the uses of industrial uh, radioactive substance in industrial and as well as medical purpose. Next third one in uranium ninety to two thirty five and uranium ninety to two thirty eight, each isotope has how many number of the protons here because of the ninety to ninety two. In both the cases, the number of the protons are 92. Each isotope has 92 protons inside the nucleus, but uranium 92 to 235 has 235 minus 92 is 143 neutrons. While uranium 92 to 238 to 238 minus 92 is 146 neutrons. In this 143 neutrons in uranium 92 to 238, the 146 neutrons inside the nucleus. In both isotopes, the number of neutrons are more than the number of protons. Compare here in both the cases here also 
Next slide again the 143. Here 146 compared to 90 in both the cases, the neutrons, number of neutrons are more than the number of protons. So both are the radioisotopes or unstable isotopes. Already we discussed it. two types of isotopes, stable isotopes and uh, radioactive isotopes are unstable uh, isotopes so that in, bo in both the isotopes the number of neutrons are more than that of the number of protons these two belongs to the radio isotopes similarly you can compare the carbon 640 is a radio isotope out of the three isotopes compare here C612, C613 and C614 of the carbon C614 has a large number of neutrons or more number of neutrons compared to these two so that this is called as a radio isotope out of these three isotopes. So this is the second one is a very very important unstable isotopes are radioactive isotopes in which the number of neutrons are much more than that of the number of the protons present in the nucleus which causes the or undergo the radioactive decay which is very very essential for the different different fields.